everybody welcome back to my channel today what I'm gonna share with y'all is how I make guacamole pico de gallo and some restaurant style chip those make for some great appetizers so let's get going with the ingredients the items that we're gonna be using today I already have everything chopped up I have some tomato some onion some cilantro some chile serrano some limes and lemons some corn tortillas and some avocados and on the stove I have a pot with some oil that we'll get to in a second I have it preheating though I have it on low first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make the pico de gallo which is pretty simple once you cut everything up the, the most time-consuming thing is to cut everything up if you have a food processor you can throw it in the food processor make things life easy for yourself so let's get started the pico de gallo I pretty much use equal parts of onion and tomato for this. I'm not going to make a whole bunch because we're a small household here. But you make as much as you need to. If this is for a game day, you may want to make a big old bowl of this because it's going to go quick. Okay, put the onion, the tomato, cilantro. And if you don't like cilantro, a lot of people don't like it, just leave it out and the chile serrano this of course you adjust it to how your family likes it if you like a lot add more if you don't like as much don't add as much okay then we're going to put a little bit of salt you adjust it to how you like it and on my pico de gallo i personally like limes with it if you don't like lime you can put lemon squeeze the whole thing in there And I use the whole thing. Okay, then we're just gonna give it a good mix. And that's all there is to this. Make this in the morning, cover it with some saran wrap. Everything will be ready. So I'm gonna show you there. Hopefully you can see the colors and I wish that you could smell this. It smells delicious. Okay guys, we're gonna get on to making the guacamole, how I like my guacamole. The avocados, I'm just gonna make two. You make as many as you need to. Just increase the vegetables that we're gonna add. What I do is I slice the avocado in the middle, okay? Slice both of them. And then just turn it and you'll have the pit on one side, whichever side. And we don't want to become a victim of the avocado hand. So what I do is I put the avocado down like that. And then I give it a good smash, turn, and there you go. Pop it on your counter, and you never have to touch the knife with your hand. Turn, and there you go. Don't cut your hands. Okay, and then the avocado, I just give it a good little squeeze like this because you're going to smash it anyway. So might as well just scoop it out. See? Then I just get the, the spoon and then I just scoop it up. I break it up some more. Scoop it out. Okay. Now the vegetables that I like to add to my um, guacamole, and this just depends on you and what you like. You know, if you don't like a certain thing, just leave it out. I like to put a little bit of tomato, and the, sometimes the tomato releases the juice, and I like to put that in there as well. A little bit of onion, and a little bit of cilantro. And with my guacamole, I like to put lemon. Again, personal preference. If you don't like it, don't put it. If you like lime, put the lime, okay? And then we go in and add some salt. And then you mix it up. Break it up. I 
like to use a fork when I'm smashing it. And there's your avocado, your guacamole. Okay, we're gonna move on to the chips now. For the chips, I just get some corn tortillas. Like here, there's like six of them. Okay, you're gonna cut them in half, stack them on top of each other, cut that in half again, and then cut those in half. And there's your chips. We just need to fry them, okay? I'm gonna switch you over to the stove and we're gonna get to frying these. Okay hey guys, I have the oil at about 350 degrees. What I do to test it is I just tear off a piece of the chip and as you can see, it comes up to fry right away. Okay, I have the tortillas here. We're just gonna put, you don't wanna overcrowd it, otherwise it will not get crispy. Then I have this spider that I use to strain them. And when we take them out of here, we're gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of salt. And that's it. A good time not to have the kids running around in the kitchen with the hot pot of oil. So when the oil, I see that it quits bubbling, I take them out. Let me bring you in close so you can see how they start to look. I don't know if you can see the color. I hope you can. Okay, that's pretty much it. The color looks like that. Okay, I put them on this tray so they can drain with the paper towel. And then I get a little bit of salt, just a little bit, and sprinkle them. Okay, put in this next batch. Be careful with your hands. Just a little bit. I'm going to continue to fry these guys, and then I'll get back when we're done. Sorry, guys. My camera lost the last piece of the footage where I take the sample bite. But here's a nice picture for y'all to enjoy. Thanks. That's going to do it for us today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Okay, guys. See y'all later. Bye.